Hi everyone, I'm E.C. Hunley, uh, the tech director of EverythingCarts.com. Uh, today we're going to be installing a uh, seat belt bracket. And uh, this is a new popular trend for especially all the uh, street legal carts out there. A lot of them uh, say that you have to have a seat belt in your cart. You can uh, get the, this is a belt bracket that we made. And this is adjustable so it'll work on different types of carts. And right here we got uh, today we're going to install the retractable type, which are very nice, and you can get them into the um, to the cart without them hanging over. Um, or you can always go with the optional lap belt. Uh, lap belt works great. You can do this uh, on the same bracket. Um, the downfall to the lap belt is a lot of times once you take them off, they are hanging off and flopping around, and uh, so most people do like the retractable. In your kit, when you get it. If you uh, get the retractable kit, you're going to receive your bracket, both retractables, your hookups for the center, and then your hardware kit. When you open up your hardware kit, you're going to see you got two longer bolts right here, which are 3 8 inch bolts. These are going to hold the bracket onto the backrest, and we'll get into that in just a few minutes. So be sure and pick out your four smaller washers with this and the two smaller nuts and we're going to install the bracket on with these two. These four right here will hold the seat belts in place to the bracket. Alright, now we have our, drill, our hole drilled for our bracket right here. If you notice on this particular bracket right here, we are putting this on an easy go cart. So what we ended up doing was you got your backrest coming up and even though you have it on um, your club cars and your Yamahas, you can do the same thing. We like putting the bracket back here. It does two things. Number one, we want the bracket set back so when we put our seat belt on, we still can raise our seat and access the engine compartment or the batteries. Uh, the other thing is it, it um, adds added strength to the seat belts because you're putting pressure against the, the backrest itself. So we got our 3 8 inch hole drilled right here. And how we got to this part was you can do however you want to, you can measure it or whatever, but we simply just put the, um, the retractable belt under here and set the bracket on it and that gives us our, our distance from the bottom to the top so we can uh, be equal on both sides. So now we're going to take our 3 8 inch bolt and with the washer and we're going to run this, this through here and put a washer on the back side of it and then we're good on nuts and just put this on here and then you can you might want to leave these loose until you get everything adjusted so you can come right here and measure your distance on both sides uh, to, to be sure you want to have it centered there alright and so once we get that on we want to take our regular retractable belt we have, uh, we've put a washer through the bolt here, and we're going to slide it through this hole right here. And then we're just going to put this washer on top of it and put the nut on. And then we'll come back and tighten all of that. Then we want to add our receiver. When you get these receivers, you will see that they will have a plastic insert on them. So we just simply pop that out, get our bolt with our washer, slip it through there. And we want to slip it through the center. Put our washer on and put the bolt on here. Now we will tighten all this up and we will check and see what all we right, have. So now you can see we got everything all bolted up. We got our latches uh, receivers right here in the center. And the good thing about this too that I forgot to mention the first time is uh, these kits come with nylon nuts on it. So even though when you look at this it looks like it's flush and that it's not enough threads coming through. Well the good thing about these nylocks is that plastic inside there which is nylon uh, hooks to the threads of the bolt and so it's not going to back off right there. Plus another thing, well, you can still tighten this up but we still want to have it to where we can swivel it so we can raise the seat up. So when that time comes and we need to get under there we just push that up, push our two in the center up 
and then we push the one up over here and as you see we got plenty of clearance to get into the compartment here and so the seat belts are still right there intact everything looks good we still want to be able to access it so you that is an important thing about the way you install your bracket too and of course when you get in all you have to do is just push everything back down and you can buckle up and, and you're good to go this is EC Holly from Everything Carts Tech Department.